As you all know, Robin is the national spokesperson for the Girl Scouts of the USA. And she recently had the honor of attending one of their biggest events. A few months ago, I went to New York to meet the 2015 National Young Women of Distinction Gold Award recipients. It was truly inspirational. I'm here at the Edith Macy Conference Center, which is just 45 minutes north of New York City in Briarcliff Manor, New York. For nearly 100 years, this serene location has served as a learning center and a place of inspiration for Girl Scout leaders and volunteers around the world. It's such a privilege to honor this year's National Young Women of Distinction, which is the highest honor that a Girl Scout can receive. Granting the honors to this year's 10 extraordinary women is my colleague and dear friend, Ana Maria Chavez, CEO of Girl Scouts of the USA. Robin, thank you so much for being here. I am so thrilled, so honored to be here. Well, Girl Scouts, the organization, the movement is thrilled that you're here so that we can introduce you to our Gold Award recipients. I'd also love to tell you the story about the Gold Award. Yes. As you know, it's going to turn 100 years old. It is the highest award a girl can earn in Girl Scouting. 6,000 girls earn it a year, but we pick 10. Uh -huh. And you're going to get the opportunity to meet them today. These are our 2015 National Young Women of Distinction. Oh, what a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much. Hello, ladies. Hello. All right, girls, what are some of the benefits that you've experienced so far, and how do you think the Gold Award will help you in the future? I think just achieving the Gold Award has made such a big impact on all our lives, and it has taught us so many skills that we can use in life, such as leadership skills and just like having the heart to serve others. My name is Annie. My Gold Award project was a career development conference called Imaginarium, where we transformed middle school students' creative ideas into formal business presentations. Why is it important to you to specifically focus on middle and high school students? Because they still hold a lot of their very younger values and their creative values and mindsets before they jump right into the career world. Wow. Hadia. For my project, I created a web development handbook I partner with an organization called BDPA, or Black Data Processing Associates. I've been on their high school computer competition team for four years, so I basically compiled everything that I learned during those four years into an entire handbook. Why do you think that this resource will be such an important tool for so many young women? It teaches professional skills that students can use in the future. For example, knowing SQL could help you organize a database for a, co a big company like Google. That's so wonderful. Um, Alexa. My name is Alexa. I created a documentary on child pornography. This is so important, but a very difficult topic. Child pornography, 70% of it features prepubescence and infants, which is truly terrible. Certainly there is an issue of teenagers being in child pornography, but really the majority is of younger children. Now, Julie. For my Girl Scout Gold Award, I implemented a honeybee box on a local organic community supported agriculture farm to create a safe haven for the endangered honeybees. You are now the proud beekeeper of one queen and 5,000 honeybees. Do you produce your own honey? I do actually. This past summer we harvested 80 pounds of honey, but it's more than honey, it's also the pollination that these bees provide and the fact that we create this home for them that is safe and clean. Jamie Lee. For my project, I designed and constructed a residential scale wind turbine from almost entirely previously used materials. Where did you find recyclable materials? I contacted local farmers, I explored with flashlights a lot of old barns, and I'm working with a farmer to get an old conveyor belt motor that I actually reused as the generator in my project by running it backwards. Elizabeth, you've already written five anti-bullying books that are used at 42 child care centers. Tell me more about Shine Your Own Way. I created a kit with activities, costumes, and the books that I wrote and illustrated. I want teachers to realize that even at an early age that little kids don't know how to express their feelings right. 
congratulations. Pooja, I am deeply moved by your project. For my project, I taught self-defense to women and girls in India for about one month in a village, and I taught them um, both self-defense and women empowerment discussions. How did you first learn self-defense? I'm currently a secondary black belt in Taekwondo. Taekwondo teaches a lot of physical strength. So both of my boys took Taekwondo, and I have one son that's a black belt in oh, Taekwondo, wow. so that's I was awesome. especially uh, connected to your Rebecca. For my Girl Scout Gold Award project, I did a domestic human sex trafficking documentary. Our goal was to bring awareness to the local and the nationwide community. What led you to create a documentary being used by the FBI? There are about 100 to 300,000 current slaves in the United States, and that range is so large because it is just so hard to spot and actually know that someone is being trafficked. Sarah, I admire the work that you've done to create effective methods for caregivers to communicate with those suffering from dementia. My Gold Award project was called Talk To Me, and it focused on helping caregivers increase positive communications with elders suffering from Dementia, Alzheimer's, or social attachment. The most important thing that I tell people is just to remember that it's the quality of the relationship that you have with your loved one, not the quantity of time that you're spending. So if you're spending a lot of time with them, but you're talking over them instead of talking to them, then they still won't feel that connection that you're trying to build. Congratulations. Thank you. Liza, uh, you created I Dream Express. I Dream Express is a nonprofit organization dedicated to establishing mobile learning centers around the world. Our first mobile learning center is currently stationed in the Philippines. Tell me about some of the activities that children participate in at the centers. We teach them reading, writing, and math. Aside from education, we sing songs and play games with them. We feed them a hot lunch. We treat any wounds or infections they may have. We wash their arms, legs, and faces and provide them with proper footwear or clothing that they may lack. Oh, that's beautiful. I want to thank all of you for sharing your projects with all of us. I am humbled to be in your presence. My advice is to continue being who you are, the brilliant young women that you are. I'm extremely honored to introduce our special hostess. She is a renowned philanthropist, entrepreneur, best-selling author, former troop leader, and Girl Scout alumna, and a lifetime supporter of the programs that benefit women and children. Please help me honor Robin. Thank you, Anna. I'm just delighted to be here to honor the amazing women. And now it is my distinct honor to call the 2015 National Young Women of Distinction to the stage. Congratulations to each of these amazing women. I was so proud to meet them. I imagine we'll be hearing about these extraordinary young women for years to come. I want to thank all of my guests today. For more information on the Girl Scouts, go to girlscouts.org.